Meantime, staying out, less California ringing in the new year with a new law that forces some retailers to introduce a gender neutral toy section or face a fine. Any store with over 500 employees must have a display for these items. If they do not comply, they could be fined $250 for the first violation and $500 for each violation after that. California Assembly Leader James Gallagher joins me now. Assembly Leader Gallagher, how important are gender neutral toy sections to the average California voter? Uh, not at all. Uh, you know, as a father of five myself, you know, when I've gone shopping for my kids, the last thing on my mind has ever been, hey, where's the gender neutral toy se uh, section? Now, there's simply no demand for this whatsoever. And it's part of this, you know, woke agenda that Democrats in California want to continue to push. Yeah. When you speak with your constituents, how frustrated are they that their governor is focused on toys instead of things like homelessness, a budget deficit, crime? unaffordability of the entire state of California. I'd be real frustrated if I were an average California voter right now. They are very frustrated. And, and as you said, the issue is crime. I mean, we have rampant, out of control crime in California. We just saw that previous story. We have rampant crime in our retail establishments. Uh, because of policies passed by Gavin Newsom and the Democrats, uh, people have basically the right to steal. They can go in uh, if they steal anything under $950, uh, they essentially have no real penalty against them. And so what we've seen is rampant theft in our stores. And it's, it's caused many of these establishments to actually close down their stores in California and move to other states. Maybe they should put their attention more on that issue and on stopping the, the rampant crime in our state. You know, rather than trying to push this agenda. It is unreal. Meantime, Greg Burt, vice president of the California Family Research Council, issued this warning about the new law saying, quote, you got the government now dictating the signage in stores about what words can be used to advertise products. This is opening a Pandora's box. And I have happened to agree with him. He raises a great point. Isn't this a First Amendment violation? Yeah, well, it's just a completely unnecessary restriction on our stores. You know, let stores decide what how they're going to display their items. Uh, let the market determine that. You know, like I said, there's really there is absolutely no demand for this uh, from consumers. You know, from parents, uh, from people shopping in these stores, and instead, it's the government trying to dictate how you shall do things. Um, I do think it is a, a gross overreach, and so that's why you know myself and Republicans in the legislature uh, opposed it. Uh, but as you see, this this you know supermajority and Gavin Newsom out in California wants to push their agenda on everyone else. It's unreal what is happening. And you have to beg the question. You guys, Republicans, I mean, were once an endangered species in California. You have to think that the tide is turning, maybe not this election, but it's some election soon, because this is untenable for a normal person who wants to live in the Golden State. James Gallagher, thank you for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Best of luck. Happy New Year. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.